Tonight, the Los Angeles Lakers are preparing to play basketball once again on their home court, only days after losing one of the game's biggest superstars. Tonight will be the Lakers' first game since Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gigi, and seven others were killed in a helicopter crash on Sunday. The Lakers organization says there will be a tribute to Kobe and the eight other victims, but the team isn't releasing too many details. Discussions are also underway for a public memorial service for Kobe, but so far, no formal plan have been announced. And one of those victims was 13-year-old Alyssa Altobelli. And last night, people gathered to remember her. She played basketball with Kobe's daughter, Gianna. Both girls died in the crash. Friends and classmates, they read poems and that she had written and then praised her for a strong worth ethic and contagious smile. Alyssa was also the starting point guard for a school's basketball team, which retired her number five jersey during a school assembly. And this week, those losses have really crushed the sports world. But while Kobe dominated basketball, another legend on board that helicopter dominated baseball. John Antobelli won four state championships coaching at Orange Coast College. He, his wife Carrie, and their daughter Alyssa were all ripped away from an all-star baseball community. I talked with some of their closest friends to learn more about the first family of Orange Coast College. While the world watched the wreckage, waiting to hear whether NBA legend Kobe Bryant was killed in a helicopter crash, a wrenching feeling came over the Dill family. So I ran over to Chip and said, call Alto. Kobe's helicopter went down. I immediately started trying to call Carrie. Neither one of us can get a hold of her or him. And then I texted Carrie saying, tell me you're okay. Please tell me you're okay. And I didn't get an answer. Priscilla Dill would eventually learn her friend, Carrie Altobelli, her husband, John, and their 13-year-old daughter, Alyssa, were also killed in that crash that took the lives of nine people. And as a family, it's just devastating, and I can't believe they're gone. The Altobellis leave behind an adult son, JJ, and another teenage daughter, Lexi. But my heart breaks for Lexi and JJ. Chip Dill was the one who first met John when he approached him about coaching at Orange Coast College. Alto, as they called him, was a head baseball coach where he won state championship after state championship. Chip and Alto immediately connected. It's one of those conversations that um, you rarely have when you meet somebody and you think right off the bat, man, this is a guy that I could really like to hang out with, um, get to know better, and I just, you know, I think I think he felt the same way. But while they bonded over baseball, their friendship really formed over family. I just knew right away, I, because we're into family and she was into family. She explained to me how they went to all the games and um, that I'm welcome to be a part of the family. I and mean, she was just so warm right away. The Dills and Altobellis would become the closest of friends, taking family vacations together and even spending a summer coaching in the Cape Cod Baseball League. When the pitching coach left that staff during the middle of the year, um, Alto immediately called the head coach and said, hey, I got a guy, and uh, he brought me with him. But now that bond has been broken, ripped away by tragedy. They're so full of life, and it just wasn't their time. It wasn't. The deals are trying to remain strong for the other two children. Their hurt only has a temporary heal when they think of the many wonderful memories they made with Alto and his family. His legacy will live on. The stories, the, the laughter, the passion for the game, and the way that, that they loved each other as a couple just it reminds us every day to live life to the fullest. played a huge role in the baseball community, coaching such notable players as the Yankees' Aaron Judge and the Mets' Jeff McNeil. Only two days after the crash, Orange Coast College held their season opener in baseball to defend their state title. Those players opted to play that game in honor of their coach because they knew that's what Alto would want. And full disclosure here, uh, Priscilla and Chip Deal. Priscilla is actually my cousin and wow. is absolutely sick. Oh, so they just flew into Southern California last night to be with the family. Where do they live? Uh, they live in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Yeah, it's so sad. Gosh. It's amazing what just a small world yeah, and, and all the and connections the on board this, this helicopter. So the, few people. The and accomplishments of those on board in life just 
Wow. And that, that's what they said. That's how they formed a friendship with Kobe. It was the two girls who played basketball yeah. together. <clears throat> uh, but, you know, it was that championship mentality right. mm -hmm. that really drew them closer. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. Bobby, thank you for sharing that.